some point you have to read the reward. But what reward are we going to hear or are we going to read from the children we did not guide properly? Or from the children we ourselves are not even there? Or from the children that are telling us, oh, I'm solving this kind of problem for the other. And because we trusted so much on our spouse, we cannot hear the children. So today, uh, Daddy, Pastor Kelly has told us to call me because he understands that every when the other open door are here. And he wants us to sit down and talk to him. Hopefully, we will be able to then one thing or the other to him. My name is Mario Adegero. I attend this parish. Sometimes I'm not here, sometimes I'm here. I'm one of the people in this part. I'm a business consultant and part of what I do is I help businesses to uh, see what they've not seen before. I help businesses to enlarge. Some of us maybe we sell one thing or the other. And if our business is not doing well, what do we do? Go to church. If we are not, we have a good shepherd and he will be able to disciple us to what we can do. But imagine you have a good shepherd. He too, he was hungry before you came. And you are not telling him, you are not saying. Then you will enter into his own spiritual world. Then you will be describing some things to yourself, no. And you will say, oh, this is this, this is that. And he's only suggesting the problem to you. You are the one confirming it. There's a red woman. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. And then we say that woman is the one causing your problem. But these days, some businesses or businessmen, when they have problems with their business, they come to people like us. And then we help them to sit down. And then we go into what we call Google. Because of what we study in the university, we are able to tell them. Let me say, for example, a lot of us went to Aquila, and we know when Aquila started. It's been as long as you and I, maybe daddy is the eldest, and daddy is the eldest, and they know Aquila. How come we are still drinking Aquila today? That is because Aquila people have people like me. Let's say, a Coca-Cola company started Coca-Cola in year one, year two, year three, and four other people have started their Coca-Cola business. Is he going to make the same amount of money? Is he making No. Because other people are sharing the product with him. What does Coca-Cola do? Come to people like me, I will get back to think. Look, if other people are doing well, why don't you start by to Coca-Cola? Why don't you start Fanta? Why don't you start Christ? Because by the time those people learn how to do whatever you are doing again, you will have moved on. So, today, I come to you, I will have come with my team, so we had an impromptu presentation, uh, so we are here to just let all of us know what we can do within ourselves. I don't want it to be in front of lectures. Sir, if you permit me, I will say maybe we can do ourselves like we are in Sunday school. So we have three issues to discuss. Maybe for one will be here, two will be here, three will be here. And at the end of each discussion, we ask somebody to come out and tell us what they discover out of the questions that we given everybody. Now, Either we are community leaders, or businessmen, or undergraduates, or graduates. Innovation is the best thing that could happen to anyone. We did before it was inherited by our father in the Lord, wasn't as many as this. But due to the inspiration of God, the man finds a way of increasing. 
maybe if my man did not go to school, even if God is talking to him 200 years, he may hear, but he will not be able to interpret what God is saying. So they say that he's able to multiply the church the way it is now. But motivation or even training or even changes by people is not easy anyway. But if I am 50 years old now and daddy wants to teach me new trick, it will take a lot of perseverance for him to be able to teach me. But if you want to teach a little boy, even if the boy is not doing well, he will slap him to make sure that he understands. So today, what I think we should do, we want to try and look for a solution to our immediate problem in our environment and life. Number two, we want to try and uh, Challenges, insecurity, and economic challenges, and the 
high, point, high cost of living. They say that the electoral challenges we are facing in this country is both the, challenge, the problem is caused by both the leaders and the, the, the government and the citizens. Two of us. Why? Because we are the people that we need money and we go there and vote the person that did not uh, qualify. We look at the leadership challenges we are facing today. We have uh, not putting the right person at the right position, putting the, putting the wrong person that is not supposed to be in position, we are putting them and we cannot this. That one is uh, caused by the government itself. The government. And we look at the infrastructure. Some of the things we are facing, bad road and all these things that we are facing today, it is caused by government. Some of us also contribute. They give you money to do a mark on contract, we go and do something inferior, and then we are setting the government, the person in government we are setting from you. It's a big challenge. We also have this security. So the challenges we are facing in this country is both from us. Like in a community, we know the people that are fighting on people that are but for us to go and tell people the board is a challenge. And the government they are not helping matters. They are not helping matters at all because even if they see the people, they don't know how to manage them. We also look at the economic challenges. We all know the high cost of living now because of the way we are being ruled. Our, our money is not valid. The economy is in a shambles. So the major cause of that is from the government. So in my conclusion, I will say that these challenges we are facing is both we, the CTC, and uh, the government. Praise the Lord. Because of the problem of Nigeria in three ways in group two. Number one, we said from human beings, us, U.S. And from there, we that all of us, human beings, or most of us, we are not being truthful, we don't share law, and the Bible says we should love one another, then we are not of one voice. This one we say, oh, this is what I will say. But when we get to the action point, we do another thing. We say another thing. Or we pitch our tent to another side because of popularity of one thing or the other. And lastly, on human beings, we say we are selfish. Then we look at point number two that leaders are the cause of the problem of the nation Nigeria. How we find our leaders being greedy. That they are very, very greedy. And so, they want to have everything for the leaders. We, they have forgotten that we enter the same market to buy the same item. And uh, some people, they build allies buildings and they will not live there, while some don't have even money to rent the place. We also look at selfishness, that they are being selfish, which is very close to greediness, but different. Then we have that they have line dogs. Line. We will do this, but they will not do it eventually. And point number three that we look at this is normal society, not standing to whether I'm a Muslim and a Christian. Oh, I'm not looking it at the angle of leaders. No. Human beings is that uh, we cited example of food buying. And let me go and buy. Let me I'm going to buy the food and food for that person that has one. The law will help us. That we have a good Nigeria, a working Nigeria, and the name of Jesus. So it lies in you and me. We can make it better. God bless us. Submitted to the fact that everybody, everybody is involved because of our own. Leadership is about, God, leadership is about, uh, it's a collective thing and it's a selfless service to humanity. Governance is not just one, 
person. Governance is service service to humanity and it is all a capacity, both the leaders and the people. So when you have failed leaders, you also have failed people. When you have good leaders, you have good people. But unfortunately, in this part of the world, Nigeria, as a case story, you will discover that most of our leaders are greedy. Even the followers who are greedy, they are selfish. This was a selfish. They go to power, they go to government for personal gains, personal advertisement. And that is why it, is, it has become very difficult to almost govern this nation in, in the integrity and justice. The Lord will help this nation in Jesus' name. We all are responsible for the problem of Nigeria. Because if we say, who is Nigeria? We are all Nigerians, so we are all responsible. Let's just quickly look at what the Bible says according to 2 Chronicles 14 7. He said, If my people which are called by my name should humble themselves and pray, and seek my best and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive them their sin. And we heal their land. The reason why I say we are all responsible is that we refuse to humble ourselves, to seek His face. Most of us, in the place of seeking the face of God, we are selfish. We are praying because of our own selfishness. The, the first point I will literally say is that parenting it starts from the house. You will see in the cases whereby. The mother got pregnant, maybe she had four children. Maybe the second child came, the first child came and things were so tough. And when they happened to have the second child, things begin to, doors begin to open, promotion begins to come. You see parents begin to favor that child, begin to show that child love more than the other ones. So the corruption starts from the family. The Bible created it, he made the family. So if the Nigeria will be good, it starts from the home. I believe we are in a Christian setting. We are not in the other world. So when we are saying about the nation, the Lord has we are all nations. We are all nations. So the problem starts from the home. You see parents begin to favor one children, begin to compare one child to the other because of the past experience, the things that happen. Those are one of the challenges we are facing. We know the story in Genesis chapter 27, verse 1 to 11, Esau and Jacob. We saw the road the mother took, Rebecca. As a mother, look at the road she took. She's supposed to be a help, to help in the ministry. Every mother has failed in the ministry of her home. Definitely the, the family will not go places. Another thing we are talking about is when we begin to take preference. In this nation, So sorry. When you go to Parastatas, the houses love themselves. Whether they are on fire or not, they begin to people that have not finished school, they begin to they have already got the job already. Are we getting it? Another thing is the religion aspects. Look at society, we celebrate the wrong things. Quality of leadership, insecurity, bad governance. Praise God. In conclusion, if we want this country to be okay. You will see people making 
came coming on a particular place and if there is no access road to that place, those people cannot sacrifice out of what they are making to make that road beautiful. It's lack of maturity. For instance, now, where I stay in a moving out, you have to manage this. They collected money from individuals and the money was back. They cannot go together and we could have been forgotten. That one is too bad. That is why. Number two, orientations about riches has changed. What people make, what we revert to riches today is no longer what our own parents regarded as riches. In those days, our parents don't have five twenty story buildings. They don't believe in stealing or people coming money. They don't believe in cheating people. They believe that if whatever they can, that we can do is okay for them. But today, people are stealing and they are placing them. Orientations are still not that number two. Number three, our tribe is on that. We are Punaliti, we are Punaliti. Tribalism. That when people are in government, people will never tell you wrong if you are even from the government. In the good systems, if the tribe is not an issue, we should not fight anybody regardless of where it comes from. But today, when you are going to say that, that will be the result of the city of the world. It is terrible. That's great. Number four. We are too favoritism. We are planting the policy abroad. Okay, Tinubu just appointed somebody for vice chairman of the Senate. A boy of 30 years. What kind of experience do you have to manage the Senate? Why was he graduating? What is his qualifications? For one way or the other, he's not going to use that position to pay for him because they have worked for. For, for the government. It shouldn't be so. Also, poor educational systems. Our law did not teach people to be self buyers Everybody believe that when you leave the school, the next thing is go and work in government branches, government establishment. And that is why many of our dads, the the problem we have is that our education system group law does not teach people. How to be entrepreneurs. So that by the time when you are even in the school, you are not even thinking of what you are going to do. If person here is speaking outside now, you have another orientation to what he has been thinking himself. But to address your point, you've all mentioned what I have here. You've all mentioned it. The societal problem starts from you start from me. Because it's within you and me that we have the government. Since uh, in my days in this country, I've seen more than 12 governments. I've never seen a Gambia be the president of Nigeria. I've never seen a Ghanaian. It's always us. And when government A is doing it, it's not doing well. Okay, let's take the military era out because we didn't invite them, they come by themselves. But now we see people that are coming here to say, vote for me. If Mr. A is not doing it, when I get there, I will do better. When he gets there, it's the same thing. Now, is it the seat of government or the problem or the mandate? Years ago, there was Muritala Mohammed government. I don't know if anybody knows me at that time here. Yeah. that came because of corruption. And corruption was not this big. The guy only spent six months before the people came and hit him. Whoever took over from Muritala is among us, either Sudan or Sibiria. He did not follow the footsteps of Muritala. He followed a different truth. If he had followed the full step of Muritala, then the country would be better. Now, they went, they went, they went. 
Then the day had gone and the Duali came in. For the first time in my life, the day had gone empowered us Nigeria. He said, we, we can be the soldier of And then from the day the day had gone came, he told me, anybody that took light was came for it. During the time of the day had gone, no member of you. Am I making sense, sir? Now, let's check what has been going on. The cash next time. We are all the government. Is it the government that says the POS should be charging 300 naira? I don't think so. It's all within us. So, now that we have been able to find that we are as well part of the issues, please. Let us, in our own little groups, the people we work with, the people we play with, the people we enter, the people we... I know some of them, when you talk to them, they will say no. But just keep here because somebody is laughing. But I believe somebody somewhere will listen. One day I was in Lagos, my car broke down, and I had to take a bus from a coste to mainland. As we were standing, sir, this bus was coming. The conductor was shouting, TBS, 200 naira, 200 naira. From the moment he sat down there and he saw we are meant to change to 300 naira. And me, I was telling people, hey, don't go in. And some people are pushing me, stupid man. If you don't want to go, I want to go. And they are ready to pay the 300 naira. So, if the man, the conductor comes next time and says 500 naira, they will get that. So, I will put it. That we should conclude, like we all said, the problem is caused by us. And then, secondly, by the government, because the government is part and parcel of us.
independent. I remember then I was in my, I want to use myself as an example. I was in Theory Level University. I told my dad, please stop paying my fees. I was leaving school. I would start studying architecture. I would go to Zaria. Uh, I don't know what the first one will be. They, they, they organized themselves and they delivery staff. I was teaching them on to card. They loved me from Monday to Sunday. Do I have a service there on Sunday? From Monday to Sunday. On Sunday, after I finish, I will leave there straight back from Zaria to Kalu. You know the distance. That was how I was doing. And I was making it and I was using it to pay off my fees. But what what kind of the most what helped me? I read a book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I don't know if I've read a book. He said, You to make money work for you. Now you don't work for money. So that's the mind of an entrepreneur. You make money work for you. You don't work for money. And if you are that type of person, you would even think of salary job. Praise the Lord. Because at the end of the month, you are planning if the salary is ah, let me put this to the budget. But if you are an entrepreneur, salary job work will not be enough for you. Praise the Lord. that we now ask her to go and learn fashion designing because there was no job. And then it was during about six months in the fashion design. That's when the job now came. And as of today, she doesn't take a clue to any sewing mistress. She does it herself. You see, when we are talking of abroad, Believe me, I have the privilege of telling you what abroad looks like. I went abroad when I was 27, and I didn't come back when I was over, I was nearly 60. So there's nothing there that I cannot tell you. But why I brought this question is two ways. One, a lot of our youth don't have job in the country. And even some of them didn't even come out with good grades. Yet they are looking for a job that will pay them one million. If you are an employer, will you employ any of them? But if these children have a second vocation while they are at school, thinking outside the box, like me, like our mommy said, you get me now? Believe me, they will be able to either become self-employed themselves or they will be accustomed to if I'm not doing this, let me go and learn something more. General Yakubu Gowa became the president of Nigeria in 27. That was when you took their job uh, seriously. I left Nigeria in 27. And before I left Nigeria, I was already providing for my family and friends. Now we have youth 35 still getting stipend from their parents. Which country are we building? Please, what I want us to take out of this exercise we've done, we know who is causing the problem in Nigeria. Now, we know whose responsibility it is to help these youth. Believe me, People of yesterday, they don't what they know how to do and they are gone. We are the people of today because we are the parents. When you and I become 80 something, 90 something, and we are back somewhere, the rats and ants started eating our body away, they will be blaming us. My own professor at school said, if there is a job to be done and everybody took their turn to do what they're supposed to do, it will not be the thought of somebody to blame someone for what is left on them. As a husband, compliment your husband's effort. As a wife, please, compliment your husband's effort when he's spending the children off. Don't say, no, that's my children off. And tomorrow, that your children will still come back. Mommy, what are you eating? Or as a husband, I know it is. Your duty to go out and make money. 
But when you come back and your wife is telling you, oh, this son is a... Say, that's your son. Whose son is this? Whose daughter is this? Eh? Who was disturbing the poor woman before the children came? So your joystick was there, but your mouth is not there. Lastly, I gave you people a big This is my business. One of my businesses. Years ago, when people want to sell a car, they put Ghana on top. When you want to sell house, you look for something. But when you are talking to people about online, 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 online business, everybody thinks this is online. No. That's why I'm giving you this. These days, believe me, you can buy a from the comfort of your chair. Go to adnation.ng. We have four of these com companies in Nigeria. One, I will not mention their name because I don't want to do advertisement for them. One is owned by somebody from the Netherlands. The other one is owned by a Chinese from China. The third one is owned by somebody from, I think, South Korea. We are the only Nigerian in this country. What are we doing? We are empowering people to use. When you go there, register. It's free to register. So don't worry. We are not sharing your commission. We are not sharing it. But in those days, or in those hours, when you don't have anything to do, instead of going on Facebook or anything, go on vacation. Maybe you can find a car you want to buy. Maybe you can find air condition you want to buy. Maybe you can find electronics you want to buy. Maybe you can, even if you are unemployed, you register them. Example, a woman that has no job to do knows that the air that can help her to be making wings. What do women use? I'm sorry, a lot of us here now, maybe their head is like my own. But they already have another head you put on. You will never know. If you want to sell anything, just go on this website. Maybe you don't know about it, or you spend your money to send your children to school. Open this thing, let me see what this silly man is talking about. I believe we are all blessed for coming. We have done spiritual work. Now we are doing personal things. This is the kind of church I like to belong to. Because they are not just feeding you with everyday things at all. Because the Bible says, as they do on that, so they do on that. When I left this country 20 something, no, 30 something years ago, I didn't know that when I get there, I'll be looking for work permits. And you, as a Nigerian, you move from here now, you go to work permit, you can do anything you want. It took me seven good years. To be able to find my kids. Perhaps, how many years does the, the doctor spend in the university? Seven years. And that is me seven years washing people's bum, cleaning people's leg, and everything. Yet my family did not know what I was suffering. They started asking me, said something, said something wrong. One day I was washing plates in a restaurant. And this restaurant, they told us, they have seven departments and they have seven people. You cannot fall sick. Today you are sick, you must come to work. So if a woman does not believe, oh, sorry, your mother is sick, oh, I'm you in the I will tell you. So one of these days, we were home. They did not know that they rent the restaurant out to some people. And I was in charge of washing the plates. I came in, the door to the kitchen had not been opened. I was pushing it. What's going on? And I went through the back door. It's like an element has gone through the kitchen. When I look at it, I look at the plates I was washed. Even before the lady job we did. And then before I left Nigeria, I was the manager of the travel years. I have nine before that. When I'm going, people think at age 26, 27. People take my bag, yes, sir, yes, sir. And now I got to wash your plate. Mm -hmm. and I got to wash your plate. God don't mind. And I saw the whole thing, I started crying. You know, the way you will beat a child, 
and the child has finished crying, but his mama come from somewhere and he wants to report you. See the way he cry. And he cry, 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 cry. At some point, I now told myself, Mister, get up. And then my manager told me, I think, what is the problem? I said, no, 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 I better do good. Then he went inside his uh, office and gave me a stab. Kefra will take you to like, so he went and brought something for me to drink and something. He didn't know what was eating me inside. <laughs> From that day, I got to myself, I'm not going to this place again. Why? Because after washing plates, I cannot hold brush if you want to, to brush your mouth. Great. We are allowing our children now to go to To do what? Circles in the day? We I have more than five people, this is my brother. I have more than five people calling me the whole of last week. I am here, they are there. But they are calling me to help them solve problems like that. Hmm. A guy spent seven million naira. Am I right? Spent seven million naira to take himself and the wife there. And when they got there, they had no job, no half strength, nothing. They are still calling me to Nigeria to help them find something. I believe we have learned something from today. I'm excited because um, I I was posted to this place just about nine, ten months ago and I found that there are some things that we need to get doing and to do, start doing that very, very quickly. Now you can imagine that um, why I came in here was basically, what we have planned was basically for a fire conference. And the fire conference basically is to pray and to bring heaven down. The theme of the fire conference is where is the Lord God of Elijah? And um, in between, we know that we also need something like exercise. We need seminar, we need training. So that was why we also brought this as part of the program, which I am sure has uh, greatly enriched People, not only the youth. In what uh, the trainer has talked to us about, we don't need to depend on other people because we have the resources in our hand and God has blessed us in Nigeria. So I want to talk to parents that skills acquisition is key in the life of every child that we are raising up today. So we must be sure that they have the skills and above all the fear of God. They must be trained in the way of the Lord so that when they get old, they will not depart from it.